So I want to talk about the differences in a supported punch and an unsupported punch. So when I look at the standard MMA punch and say I'm throwing a, a jab and a cross, then what I'm doing is I'm throwing a punch out and then I'm turning at the end and snapping. And that's just like a boxing punch when they turn and if I throw a hook then I'm coming in, bang, I'm coming in, there. Now that's what I call a boxing punch and a boxing punch and that's with the thumb up. So that is what I call an unsupported punch. Now I'll explain why now. So uh, let's look at the hook. So when I land with a the hook there, now I can bring my elbow up, right up, right up to there level. And in a boxing glove, the thumb is sticking out here. So I'd have to drop it down a little bit because otherwise I'd hurt my thumb if the um, elbow was too high because the thumb is, is sticking out in the glove and it's fixed and you can't move it. So MMA gloves, I can tuck it around. So I'm coming in and the last moment of the strike, when I land the strike at the end, as it lands, it chops in on this part of the knuckle here. And it's the same if I throw a jab and I'm coming out there, then as I turn and I come out, I'm chopping in with this part of the knuckle here. So this part chops as I land and I'm finishing that with me, tri it's me tricep that's finishing that and it's like swinging a hammer. So like I swing a hammer, my tricep tenses, it shoots that forward. So I throw a punch, my tricep tenses, it's at the end and it flicks that out. And it's the same with the, the rear, how it flicks that out. So that's unsupported. Now with a supported punch, the forearm is driven in like a hammer, like a jackhammer. So with a supported punch, I'm punching straight in. Whereas an unsupported punch is this movement where I'm coming out from here, turning and then flicking out. Supported is driving straight in. So as soon as I go to throw the shot, my elbow comes up behind the arm and drives it in straight, like a jackhammer smashing straight in, rather than a hammer swinging in. So with the kinetic hook, which is a supported punch, when I hook in there and I hit, the forearm is right behind there and it drives the shot in. Whereas with an unsupported hook, as I finish the shot, I'm coming round and I'm chopping in there and coming straight off. So also, because I'm hitting with this part of the knuckle, this is sloping, there's a slope on this part of the knuckle. So whenever I hit with this part, it also slopes off. Whenever I hit anything, my hands move in slightly. So if I'm hitting with this part of the knuckle, as I land there and my hands move in, it's just going to slide straight off. Whereas with a supported punch, I've got a flat part here and I can land that on the target and I can dig it in and I can get, get deeper um, impact and more power into the target. Because even though it's still a split second when it lands, because it's a flatter surface driven in by the forearm, it's much stronger rather than coming round and chopping in as, I, as you land.
So while you throw in a supported punch or an unsupported punch, here's a test for you. So put yourself in a guard, in a nice tight guard by your chin, and then open your hands. So my hands are open. So from here, if I throw this sort of standard MMA punch where you turn and twist your hand over, which is perfectly normal, nothing wrong with that at all, just like a boxing. So if my hands are open, then what happens is when I throw that punch, my hand comes out, it comes out, it comes out, and it only lines up with the arm when it actually lands the shot. So if I throw jab, cross, jab, cross, jab, cross, jab, cross, jab, cross, or straight as such, jab, straight, jab, cross, jab, cross. So, if I then uh, put myself in a guard for a kinetic punch, in a tight guard here, then when I open my hands, the fingers are facing towards the target. And as soon as I throw the shot, and it comes out, now if I make a fist there, that comes straight out. If I open my hand, point it, it's pointing, already pointing at the target, it's moving straight at the target. Jab, cross, jab, straight, jab, cross, whatever you fancy putting on it. But each one there is going straight in and you see how the fingers are lining up with the forearms all the way through the shot. All the way from the start of the shot, they're lined up. So if I open my hand uh, and I go to throw a hook, then what happens slowly is as I come in, the hand's pointing up, and then the elbow comes in, the elbow pops up, and then the hand chops down. And that's like a unsupported punch. When I come in and I go to land it, the elbow pops up and it chops down on this part of the knuckle. So with the supported hook, you can see how the hand comes out on a smooth curve and there's no deviation and the the, um, the forearm is, support, is, is fully supporting that hook all the way through on a smooth curve so it doesn't have a matter if you punch there, there or there it's still that same strong position rather than if I'm going to throw a hook here it's only when I land in that position I have to, I have to actually lift the elbow up and chop in so that's an extra action on the end rather than just coming in and if they move in and they're closer and my elbow's down I won't get a chance to pop up whereas if I'm already in that position then it doesn't matter if they move closer I can still drive in with that strong part of the knuckle supported by the forearm a fully supported punch, a kinetic punch